Let's look at now um, the components of a photovoltaic cell. The fundamental element is the individual photovoltaic cell. Individual cells are assimilated into modules, and then modules are assembled into arrays, which are integrated into systems with a wide range of components. So again, here you have um, your cell. Those cells are arranged in series in order to create a module. And then the module itself can be connected in parallel in order to produce a total or a solar array. This figure was reproduced from your book um, and it reproduces some of the information from a company site from PhotoWatt. For this particular cell, which is a PhotoWatt cell 125, the first portion of the figure produces a visual image of the cell as well as presenting information on the size and materials used in some construction details. The table in the middle segment of the figure delineates the open circuit voltage and short circuit current and the voltage, current, power, and efficiency at maximum power for different classes of the solar cell. Uh, the photowatt um, current voltage curve is illustrated as the last part of the figure, which is called an IV curve. The IV curve is similar to the theoretical one that we looked at earlier. So an examination of the numbers confirms that if appreciable power and voltage are, be, are be, to be attained, more than a single cell, of course, will be needed. So again, modules, as I discussed earlier, are constructed by placing photovoltaic photovoltaic cells in series and parallel arrangements. Series and parallel configurations of solar cell flows the same, follows the same rules as series and parallel DC circuits. So for identical components placed in series arrangement, the voltages add at current, at constant current. And then for identical components placed in parallel, um, the currents add at constant voltage. Let's look at a quick example. Um, here you have the behavior of solar cells in series and parallel. So A, the graph, the graph to the left, shows two identical cells in series. And on the right-hand side, you see two identical cells in parallel. For the cells in series, the voltages add at um, constant values of the current, right? So again, you have a cell here, and then another cell added where the total current, uh, sorry, voltage increase at a constant current. But... For the cells in parallel, you have the current increasing at constant voltage. So let's look at this example problem here. Uh, it reads that a photowatt class AH photovoltaic cell cells are to be arranged to provide an output of 12 volts and a power of 120 uh, watts. Recommend an arrangement that meets the specification. So, again, it's saying here that the power required is 120 watts. So, if we go back and if we look at the graph, uh, or sorry, at the information given uh, from for photowatt, we can go back here and we can look at an A class AH configuration. And here's all the information given. It gives that the open circuit voltage. Is 0 0.608 volts. Um, the short circuit current is 5.65 amps. Here we have um, the voltage at max power, which is 0 0.493. Um, so that would be 0 0.493 volts per cell. And then we're given that the maximum power from a cell is 2.5. 5.3 watts, and that the current at maximum power is 5.13 amps. So if we take that information back to the example problem, we can go ahead and first compute the number of cells that's, um, that's needed, right? So if I want 120 watts, and I know that each cell produces 2.53 watts, I know that I need, this is an exact calculation, of course, 47 
0.4 total cells. What I first want to look at is how much do I need, how many cells do I need in series to get the voltage that I want, right? So in order to do that, let me look and just compute the number of cells that I need in series. I would go ahead and take my 12 volts, divide that out by the fact that I know for maximum power I have 0.493 volts per cell. So that means I need 24.3 cells. So basically what I would conclude is that I need 25 cells in series and I need those two I need two of those arrangements in parallel to give me a total of 50 cells, right? So I need, no, I need a minimum of 47.4 cells. I know that I need a minimum of 24.3 in series. So if I took 25 in series and I multiply, I have two of those um, in parallel with each other, that gives me my 50 cells, a little more power than 120 watts, but at least I get the minimum of 120. And I get a little more than that based on the fact that I have a total of 50 cells and they're arranged as two sets of 25 cells in parallel. And again, um, here's, uh, here's another example of a photovoltaic cell. Um, in this case, again, you're given all the same information, power uh, at max, uh, the, the, the maximum drawn power per cell, and then the voltage and current at, it, at those maximum uh, at that maximum power output. Um, to conclude, I'm going to go ahead and do one more example problem, but I'm not in this case going to work out the problem. I'm just going to kind of go through the solution that's already laid out in the book to kind of as an illustration. This problem itself just asks for the annual kilowatt hours produced um, out of one BP E160 module in Meridian, Mississippi. Again, that's the photovoltaic cell given in this uh, chart here. Uh, it's asking to examine two cases. One where you have a constant tilt angle, um, and then another one that has a two axes rotation. And I just want to kind of illustrate the difference between the two. Again, if you were to go ahead and set up the example problem, uh, the, the result could be something along this where you get kilowatt hour per month on a, a graph where you get kilowatt hour per month on the y-axis and on the x-axis you have the month. And you can see here um, the difference in the total kilowatt hour output of the cell per month comparing the two axes rotation and the fixed tilt angle. And you can see that especially in the months between uh, May and July that there's a difference where the two axis rotation gives you some more power output, but not significantly more than the fixed angle, at least in this particular case. Um, so modules, uh, such as illustrating an example problem, right, are assembled into arrays utilizing the same peer, uh, parallel, uh, series parallel principles um, as used for com combining cells into modules. The figure here is an example of a photovoltaic array, and this particular array is rated uh, rated at 236 kilowatts and was made by a company called American Energy uh, Technologies. Okay, uh, that ends uh, this chapter on photovoltaic cells.